air pockets in the mento and then that with the chemical reaction between the sugar and the caffeine, sugar and the mento and the caffeine and the Pepsi creates a chemical reaction that goes kaboom! <laughs> experiment was, does pressure affect the explosion produced by Mentos and Pepsi? Hi, I'm Leo Cha. I'm in Miss Lebetsu's class in fourth grade, and I am working with... Dana Connolly, I'm in fourth grade, I'm in Miss Lebetsu's class, and I'm working with Leo Cha. hypothesis was that if we had the the most the mo least pressure would be very would have lots of fizz but not very high and if and the most pressure would have very high but not but not very big Set up for experiment by having a cup filled with 500 milliliter bottle of Pepsi, then an open cap 500 milliliter bottle of Pepsi, then a capped capped bottle of Pepsi with a hole drilled in it. Then we put one Mento in each. The open cap had lots of fizz, but didn't go very high. It almost went half a centimeter. The second one, which was the open capped bottle, went about four inches. Well, the third one was we drilled one single hole about a half a centimeter or a centimeter wide, and we put one mento in, and then put uh, put this cap back on and see how much height, and we got at least four feet, but it was like about the size of a pea in width. Figured out the most pressure would have lots and lo very very high, but not very like wide, and the least pressure would be very very wide and probably spill over, but not very tall at all. The scientists, ta da!